we are at the bot valley of noida and this particular robot is a dog robot there are very few companies in the entire world who design such kind of multi purpose robots what it can do how it is useful in disaster relief we have been joined by the engineer who has designed it uh, sir your name please ankur yadav so ankur uh, what is the idea behind this robot we have seen such kind of robots in movies in uh, you know western uh, news and all and uh, you know they use it in the in their military they use it for you know disaster relief what it can do yeah so this is a this is a dog robot quadruped we have named it tracker uh, no doubt it is getting uh, used a uh, lot in defense uh, primarily for surveillance patrolling you can also use it uh, in construction sites big construction sites uh, nuclear power plants wherein it is very difficult for people to go and monitor uh, in petrochem industries wherein you have kilometers of pipelines these robot can have a thermal sensor and inspect these pipelines so there are various use cases uh, we believe launching this product we would be able to cater many many more markets with the robot okay so uh, can you tell us more about the specification uh, specifications of these robots how far they can go what is their battery life and also uh, since uh, in uh, common language when you talk about robots we think that it must be a very sophisticated thing in an ac room or something so can we tell us more about its uh, specifications yeah so right now this particular model has a payload capacity of 5 kgs uh it has a battery life close to uh, it can run for about 90 minutes uh, it can travel close to 5 to 6 kilometers in those 90 minutes a typical robots you would see uh, in warehouses or in industry it would be in a confined environment these are capable to go in the outside environment so they have a particular ingress protection the ip protection we we say they can take lot of images they have stereo cameras all around its body wherein it can create a 360 degree map and it can know where it is present even if the terrain is a bit rough these robots can automatically adjust to that terrain so can and they can they actually go upstairs and uh, climb uh, yeah upstairs? they can they can climb these stairs they can move in a rough terrain they would automatically adjust with a 30 degree of movement and they will try to balance themselves normal robots which runs on floor won't be able to do that that's the speciality of these robots so uh if these robots are uh, put in use so any place any place which is hazardous for any human employee to go in these robots can go yes definitely the nuclear sites the construction sites uh, we see lot of fatalities mm -hmm. in construction mm -hmm. sites when people go for surveillance mm -hmm. they can create the map of the construction sites mm -hmm. they can measure the kilometers of pipelines which are there they can inspect them they can raise alarm when they see an abnorm abnormality in the pipeline so all these use cases are there for these particular robots so this is a dog bot and uh, this is a very you know robust kind of robot and this is actually is going to be used in robust scenarios now these robots you we, you can see are very sophisticated these are you know sophisticated to that end that these can be used in medical purpose so ankur can you tell us about uh, these uh, this robot the, yeah. what is this what so, can this do so this is another uh, possibilities we are unlocking with these kind of robots we are entering into the healthcare sector mm -hmm. uh, this particular robot is a collaborative robot called heal okay. heal yes okay. heal means okay. it will it will heal the patient mm -hmm. it will give a relief to the patient mm -hmm. uh this is a collaborative robot mm -hmm. it has lot of force torque sensors so if you put some kind of pressure on it it will try to move the mm -hmm. move the trajectory of its arm mm -hmm. uh in a way not harm the patient mm -hmm. uh you can put several kind of attachments on this mm -hmm. uh it can help you mm -hmm. do different kind of motions with your hand with your limb with your body mm -hmm. with these robots we want to free up the time of healthcare heroes who are there be it a doctor be it nurses lot of monotonous work which goes inside say a lab a lot of testing needs to be done and lot of monotonous work is there these robots can do that and only the brain part which is there wherein you actually require a physician or a doctor 
he spends time only in that particular area. Mm -hmm. In a way, he can increase the number of patients he sees mm -hmm. because most of the work would be done by these kind of robots. Uh, specifically, when we talk about this particular robot, yes. this is a kind of a robot which is actually, you know, helping the physiotherapist sparing their time. Because this is the job, what, which I can see, yeah. is a typical job of a physiotherapist yes. in case of, uh, you know, uh, some uh, problem in somebody's hand or somebody's limb. Yeah. So these are exoskeletons. This is a wearable robot. So typically when you see a stroke patient or any kind of ner nerve damage, mm. Uh, they need to learn all the motions, either of the hand, the upper body. This particular robot, you can wear it in the hand, mm -hmm. and it will, and you can program it. Mm -hmm. It will teach you how to move, what all directions needs to move. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, a 60% of movement mm -hmm. teaching will be done by the robot, and in, it will expect the the patient to do the remaining 40%, say, a uh, grabbing something and all. Mm -hmm. uh, this can be used inside home, so these patients need not go to a rehab or a physiotherapy uh, centers every time. They can take this, they can use it at home, they can program it based on their convenience. Okay. So uh, now coming to this robot, this is a very, you know, uh, required uh, robot in the Indian healthcare system. This, you can see this robot's arm is actually performing uh, stimulating a, an ultrasound and this is being you know handled by this remote control here and the distance between the actual ultrasound machine and the remote can be hundreds of kilometers and it can be linked to a satellite so how can this perform this very delicate uh, task of ultrasound or maybe related to this imaging uh, you know uh, kind of me medical work yeah so this particular robot <coughs> uh, is used for remote imaging. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a haptic sensor mm -hmm. with it. So this particular robot you can put, there are close to about 9 lakh villages in India. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them would not have a healthcare center or a good doctor. You can put this particular unit into say that remote village. The doctor would be sitting inside a metro, Delhi, Mumbai. Mm -hmm. They can remotely operate this particular robot they can take all the images, send it to the doctor, and doctor can actually prescribe what is to be done uh, with that particular patient. Uh, it has a lot of sensors attached to it. Uh, so if you feel a bit of stress or the patient feels uncomfortable, it will try to move back. And it will also give that particular pressure on this haptic device. So the doctor also gets to know okay, that this person is feeling uncomfortable. In a way, it's then this makes this complete arrangement very safe for the uh, patient. So it's completely safe, despite being a robot and being handled from a distance through, uh, you know, internet and satellites. It's still very safe for patients because you know this joystick actually, this pressure, the uh, num uh, the amount of pressure one wants to you know apply on the patient can be felt in this joystick. Yes, yes, I just felt it like it stopped at one particular point and now I am feeling the pressure while I am trying to press it down. So this is, this is uh, truly we can say this is a kind of a revolution in the health industry. Robotics is the future and India is actually moving very fast towards in this future. With camera person Abhishek Singh, this is Abhishek Anand reporting for India Today.